Come with me to a Pokemon League Challenge. But first, what is a League Challenge? In simple terms, it is a tournament that you can enter to earn World Championship points. Depending on how many players show up, you play multiple Swiss rounds. And there is no top cut compared to League Cups. And if you're still confused, I have a link in the description that has all the information. And you can also find out if your local car shop hosts these events. All right, let's get into the vlog. There are 25 players tonight, which means we're playing five rounds. For the first round, my opponent had a mulligan, and it seems like he's playing some sort of water deck. For me, I'll be playing Lost Zone Guarantee. I had a pretty rough start. All I could do was attach and play Path to the Peak and pass my turn. Luckily, he also started pretty bad. All he did was play Misfortune Sister, which got rid of some of my item cards. With Kyogre being the only Pokemon on his side of the field, I wanted to knock it out as fast as possible. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to knock it out this turn, but I managed to get four cards in my Lost Zone. During his turn, all he did was boss up my Giratina V. With Kyogre being the only Pokemon still, I should be able to knock it out if I can get 7 in the Lost Zone and power up my Giratina V. After 1 Chloris and 1 Fire Selecting, we hit 7 in the Lost Zone, which now I can use Mirage Gate to power up my Giratina. I use a second Mirage Gate to put an energy on my Comfy so I can retreat and swing for 160 with Giratina for game. Moving on to round 2, we face our friend Victor. Sadly for him, he only started with Skullvit, Attach an Energy, and Pass Turn. All I had to do my turn was get 4 in the Lost Zone and attack with Cramera to end the game. Seems easy to do, but we weren't able to get Comfy out of the active even though we already got 4 in the Lost Zone. We missed our chance to end the game, but that's okay. During his turn, he played Judge, resetting our hands, then proceeded to place down Arceus V with the Energy. I added more cards to my Lost Zone and then knock out his Skullvit with my Cramera. Only thing Victor could do during his turn was boss up my Giratina to potentially stall. After a few more turns, Victor ended up scooping, putting us with a record of 2-0. Round 3, we face our friend Carlos, and he is playing Sablezar, which I know is going to be a rough matchup for me. Unfortunately, my camera had an error, so I wasn't able to record our full game. After a long battle, he took the win, and I am now 2-1. Round 4, we went up against Mew VMAX, piloted by Daniel, aka my friend's Lewis dad. If you're watching this, I just want to say thank you for supporting the channel. For this game, I managed to play Path to the Peak and his stick for a few turns, stopping him from drawing the cards he needed. By the time he got rid of my path, it was too late, and I ended the game by bossing up his Meloetta. Our last game, we faced Charizard EX. I lost the dire throw and I had to go first. I did not have a good start, but I managed to put down Path, which at least slowed him down from using Rotom V his next turn. We both set up and took turns knocking out each other's Pokemon, until the very end when I played my last Path, and he was unable to respond, and I finished off the game by knocking out his last Charizard EX. And we ended the night with a record of 4-1, putting us at third place, which gave us 10 championship points. For third place, I also got five Pau Day Evolve packs. So you already know, let's crack this open. A very playable card. We take those. Pack number three. Can we get a last pack magic, please? Not the best pull, but I had a great time at my league challenge. If you guys enjoyed the gameplay slash vlog, make sure you guys let me know in the comments so I'll do more. And make sure you guys check out my other videos right here.